everybody. Can everybody hear me? We are live with the Google Pixel phone. This is the phone I think everybody has been waiting for. Uh, give me some acknowledgement that you can hear me. I'm on a loud mic, so I just want to make sure that we're all good in terms of sound. All right, that's, that's awesome. So let's take a look at this phone. This is the smaller five inch pixel. You can see it is very, very slim. And before we get into anything else, you can see here, All right, can everybody hear me? Is it better now? Sweet. All right, hey everybody. Daniel here. Uh, I'm at the satellite event in Toronto, and I uh, have the Google Pixel in my hand. This is the latest and greatest from Google, uh, and it is really, really nice. This is the smaller version. It is running Android 7.1 Nougat. So you take a look here, and before we get into the specs, you can see here it runs Android 7.1. And what you can do with this is access the Google Assistant directly from the home button. You can see here the home button is newly designed along with the two other navigation buttons, the back button and multitasking. And there's this new Google launcher. It's the Pixel launcher here. You just swipe up from the bottom and it is really, really smooth. You also swipe to the right to access Google Now. This is a new uh, feature in the Pixel Launcher. It's different from the way that you access now before. This is actually called the Google Feed. It's been renamed and now on tap has been replaced with uh, Google Assistant. And you can access it very easily. So I can say things like, um, let's see if I can answer my question. When are the blue jets? When are the Blue Jays playing tonight? And that is the wild card game. I am very excited about it. It's playing at uh, in Toronto later tonight. Sorry, um, Orioles fans, but you're going down. All right, we're going to turn this around, and you can see here, the top of the phone is slightly thicker than the bottom. This is to accommodate the large 12.3 megapixel camera with f2.0 lens. It also has laser-assisted autofocus and base detection autofocus as well. You can see there is a glass panel above here, uh, above the metal, the aluminum. And that is also to facilitate things like the antenna. Uh, and it gives it a really nice dual-tone look. This is the silver version and, sorry, this is the black version and there is a lighter silver version as well. The black version also has a black front. So that's really nice to see. Keeping on the back, you can see there is a rear fingerprint sensor as well. And you can actually, which is really neat, you can swipe down from the uh, fingerprint sensor to access the notifications um, screen. So that's really cool. That's something that I'm happy to see Google implement here all across Android 7.1. Obviously, the camera is one of the major selling features of the Pixel. It has HDR Plus turned on uh, for for good, which means that you can go right into the camera and take some shots. So let's actually do that. I have my my trusty Sony camera open. You see, this is the Google camera app and it takes photos super fast. It focuses super fast. And then you can quickly access the video camera as well. No new features in terms of actual camera functionality. You still have panorama, photosphere, lens blur, and slow-mo, but these are all table stakes today and you can quickly access your photos from the app itself. You can see here, the details are accessible as well through the app as well. And, okay, let's look at this, because this is really, really neat. When you press the home button, you get this nice little animation, uh, and that accesses the Google Assistant. So, 
see here. How cool is that? Uh, storage sizes, Christopher, 32 gigs and 128 gigs. Okay, we're going to the bottom now. You can see this is the bottom of the phone. The USB Type-C port is there along with the speaker and microphone, nice and symmetrical, except for the fact that the finger, that the USB is actually placed a little bit closer to the back than the front. So, you know, can't win them all. On the top, we have the antenna line and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Yes, there is a headphone jack over here. On the right side is the textured power button and the volume button as well. And of course, looking at it like this, you can see the nice G logo, beautiful textured finish, uh, brushed aluminum, very, very nice. You can see it is a little bit rounder than we thought it would be. You take a look just like this, you can see here, it does appear to be far less, I guess, chamfered than the renders gave it uh, the impression of. This is built by HTC, though that company was not mentioned any anywhere in the keynote. And you can see there is some very premium materials and design here, but it does not at all look like the HTC 10 or any other HTC flagship. Let's look at the icons now. Software is a little bit different than other Android versions, especially those running Nexus, uh, the, the Nexus versions, those running Android 7.0 Nougat. The icons are round, and that is only for the Google apps right now. It's unclear whether Google will force other app developers to change their icons, but it doesn't look like that's the, fa that, that's the case. So we're gonna live in a world where most Google icons are round and most third-party developer icons are square or squircle. So there you go. Moving into the settings, we also have a support tab built in to the settings now, which is amazing. You can now get 24-7 support from Google over phone or chat. Super neat. And moving into the settings, you can also see that this does appear to be very similar to existing versions of Nougat. This is the 32 gig version. You can see here it uses about uh, 3 gigs um, just for the system and maybe, sorry, there's three gigs uh, unavailable from the get-go and there's about eight gigs used from the system. So, you know, you have approximately 21 gigs out of the box. That's pretty, more, pretty normal for a 32 gig phone. And everything else seems fairly standard. You have your Pixel imprint here, renamed from Nexus imprint. It's getting louder in here, guys. I apologize if it's harder to hear me, but everybody is so excited to get their hands on this phone. Obviously, this is the smaller version. I'm gonna try to get my hands on the larger version and the white version as well. Does anybody have any questions before we move on? This is the Google Pixel. As I said earlier, swipe right to access the new Google feed, swipe up to access the new Pixel launcher, and there are some slight reskins of existing Google apps, but if you've used a Nexus device running Nougat before, you are going to be well aware of what to expect here. So that is a very quick look at the Google Pixel coming later this month. I'm going to sign off now, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.